Hey there, Tammy C. Walker here, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like for me. And thank you. Today I want to talk about walk a mile in their shoes. I'm doing this video just to talk about how others can pass judgment or have a solution for someone else when they've never even experienced that. Look, there's no book on how to be the best parent, how to be the best wife, how to be the best husband. And yes, there are books for this, but each child as a parent has to be treated with care and each spouse requires different things. I can't tell you how to um, move and be in your marriage. And that's one thing I'm pretty careful with when I have um, my married friends, when they come to me. Not that they come to me for advice and stuff, but they're just telling me things about their spouse, be it a man or a woman. I am careful not to put my mouth on their spouse because I feel that's crossing a boundary. I feel it's self-righteous and I feel it's kind of wrong. So I hope and I pray that I'm a listener. Now, if they ask for my opinion, I may um, say, you know, a little bit. It's been times where I've heard things and in my mind, I'm like, if I were them, I would get the hell out of Dodge. But I don't dare tell them to leave their marriage because to me, I'm out of line. Now, again, I'll say this every time. If there's abuse, I'm going to say you need to get out of there. And that's as a person, friend, family member, and as a professional clinician, that's my job to look out for my friends and family's safety. So anybody should say that. But as far as me telling you what to do with your husband and me telling you how to how to treat your wife, that I'm not going to be able to do because I'm not in that relationship. If you notice, people will always know what's best for you. But pay attention to some of them. Your plan is safe. They're in their little box. And nobody hardly tells anyone the darkest and deepest secrets that they have or the demons that they're battling day by day, week after week with addictions. But they put on that happy face and try to make you think everything is peachy cream, which is why social media is a farce. <laughs> as much as I love YouTube, I'm not even really referring to YouTube. More or less, I always talk about Facebook because I just feel people post these pictures over and over and over and over. And it's showing them on these vacations and living the best life. And I, I post my pictures too here and there. But it's just too much. Some, some stuff is too much. It's selfie after selfie after selfie. And look at my house and look at my this and look at my that. And it just seems like overkill. But the truth of the matter is a lot of it is fake. I'm sorry to say, but it is. So don't get caught up in social media. Don't get caught up in what someone says you should do um, with your life. The truth and the answers lie within. And a lot of times we don't even know it's a crapshoot. We're all trying to figure out this thing called life. No one has the magic answer for you. We don't even have the magic answer for ourselves. A lot of times it's trial and error. And as I go through this journey of life, I just hope I'm getting wiser and better. And I'm still being tripped up by some stuff that I got tripped up over in 1999. And perhaps it's to humble me because I really felt and feel at times that I have a good hold on my of my life. I feel like if I get down and out, I know how to bounce back. I feel like I learned so much from being depressed and going from relationship to relationship. I feel so empowered and in control. And get, you know what? I still just got tripped up again. Because why? I'm human. Stay humble. You are never above a situation. You are never above heartbreak. You are never above a problem. You are never above a surprise. So I just feel like life is all about being humbled over and over. And, and Simon from American Idol, as arrogant as he is, said it best. When you start um, believing in your own self, when you start believing in your own hype, that's when you're going to get snatched down and be humbled again. He said he was rich. This is before American Idol. And he was arrogant. Can you tell now? <laughs> and I guess even more arrogant than he is now, which is scary. And he said he lost all his money. 
and he had to rebuild his life. And he said he lost his money because he believed his own hype. So that's what this video is about. Stay humble. You know, if you walk a mile in someone else's shoes, then you can speak on it. If you don't, then maybe a listening ear is all people need. I'll never forget losing my hair back in 2007 to cancer and the chemotherapy as well as 2012 2013 and a relative made this stupid statement and i'm sorry to say but it was stupid i told her how hurt i was to lose my hair and she said oh it's just hair but you know what i didn't see her go shave her head so let's try to have a little bit more compassion and think before we blur stuff out you know and maybe she didn't mean any harm but i didn't really care for it i thought it was insensitive and it lacked compassion but again walk a mile in my shoes have chemo pumped in your veins lose your hair as you're taking a shower and your hair is just falling down the drain and come holler back then so that's all i'm trying to say walk a mile in someone's shoes i don't have kids so i can't tell you how to raise your son i can't tell you how to raise your daughter i can tell you how i was raised but that was many moons ago and i'm sure things have changed just a little huh just a little if not a lot but um, anyway, that's pretty much all that I have. Walk them out in their shoes. Let's just lay back a little bit on people. And you know what? If, they, if they're if they having trouble and something that you don't agree with, maybe whisper a prayer up for them instead of putting that judgment on them. Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like. And I'll be back with another great video. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.